Why, hello there. I'm Officer Mustachio, and I've come to do the introduction for this video. But I'm being very misleading, as police officers sometimes are, simply because this isn't a video about toy cars. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't be having one of those, because I've not brought any toy cars recently, and the charity shops are shut, so, um... Yeah. Even though there's a box of them down there. No, today, we're looking at something that has absolutely nothing to do with me! Thank you, Officer Mustachio. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the table. And today we're looking at an amazing product of magnitude and stuff. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. Can you tell? Yeah, uh, hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing very well. Uh, we've got a slightly different product at the table today. Not brought in a charity shop, although had it been in a charity shop, I totally would have brought it without a shadow of a bloody doubt. Um, because it's something that genuinely intrigues me even though it's not something that um i would normally partake in as a hobby as you know i'm into camcorders and video camcorders but when the idea of a digital camera from the this one's uh, a early 2000s model the mvc fd200 fd mavica camcorder that runs on Floppy disks came to my attention. I had to have one. And conveniently, this was, from what I can tell, actually a very, very successful camera line. As in, oh boy, this was a successful camera line. So these cameras are littered everywhere. And you can buy a functioning working one fully in box like this for no more than 20 odd pounds. But yes, what we've got is we've got uh, an old digital camera that runs literally on bloody floppy disks. And we're going to look at it today. Yeah, so we'll start with the box. I said, well, we'll look at the front. Um, Sony, there's the camera. It's got 2 million megapixels or 2 megapixels. Yes, that's a lot of pixels it is. Uh, I mean, back in 2000, yes, it was a lot of pixels. My first camera, oh, my dad brought in 2003. About 2002, 2003, I don't have it anymore. I remember throwing it away and I'm really cross. And I got my hands on it about 2006 when he got his next camera. Um, but it wasn't one of these. If we look at this side, we've got a USB interface and Stanima battery kit included. So you can shove it up your bottom and have lots of Stanima. Pidge has just got stuck on something in his cage, which is hilarious. You get a battery, you get your cables, you get the necky thing and you get a disc. It even tells you here, but that all looks like French and German. There's not any English here. 2.0 megapixels, 2 millions de pixels effect is precision digital zoom, zoom numeric de precision 6x, dual media, double support, the register. I can't speak French. An MPEG movie, no audio. Mm, we'll, look, we'll, we'll be looking at that, don't worry. Lithium battery, Stanima, USB terminal, memory stick, NTSC, and power, which is great. On this side, you've got a lot of pointless information, but we've got, um, again, we've got some indication that this was probably originally purchased in France. I mean, I, I think that's French. I could ask my French friend, but I'm not going to. It's also 22, and keep it this side up. Great. Uh, sorry. Uh, if we come on to the back here, again, thankfully, there are plenty of English things, so we can, you know, I can figure it out. Adapter pack, rechargeable video, battery pack, video connecting cable, USB cable, CD-ROM, and shoulder strap. An NPF55, yes, I have managed to resource a replacement one. Um, LCD hood finder, I don't know where that is. Uh, I, I, oh, oh, these are optional, optional accessories. That would explain why I couldn't find it. I might actually look for one of those because I did not like the uh, thing at all. And other bits and pieces. And on this side, we've got the same sort of things over again. These four we looked at. We've also got macro, 12-bit DXP. I ain't got a bloody clue what that is. Program AE, don't care. Clip motion. Email. This thing can send emails. No, no, it can't. And playback zoom. Don't even know what that is. But I think that's enough of looking at the box and there's nothing on the roof. So let's start getting what's in the box out. Yes, and if I um, tip it on its side like this, you can see it's well packed in there. Plus one extra thing. Um, I have actually had a floppy disk USB floppy disk around for years, and I actually get to use it now. So let's um, grab the documentation out first. Put the documentation there, and we've got all the accessories, and we'll put those over there. And we've got the camera itself, which we'll place here, and the battery. Oh, and some spare memory sticks that didn't actually fit. Yes, glorious, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so we'll put those there as well. So let's just... Um... Let's look at what we've got. We've got um, Pixilla Image Mixer, version 1 Sony, 
Uh, USB driver. Mm, 2001, there you go. This is a 2001 camera. So this was originally the stuff that you would use, uh, the program you would use to transfer your video and files and so forth. It's just a management thing. Ooh, it's got a big stain there. Hello, I'm on YouTube. Hi, Mum. I'm still a disappointment. But yeah, it's a disc. Um... I don't use it, my computer now, just because computers as they are on Windows 10 are just like, oh, it's a USB disc, whatever. Uh, we've got an instruction manual. I can assure you I have read literally nothing in there. We've got the accessories option for the MVC FD200. This is one of the later ones in the line. But look, we can have, um, we can have batteries or we can have memory sticks. Look, we can get a... 128 megabyte memory stick. Oh boy, 128 megabytes. Bloody hell's tea. And we've got, actually, I do actually kind of need to get one of those. <laughs> a memory stick reader or other things. A case for memory sticks. Yes, we can carry the memory sticks around and not die in the case. And uh, a weird tripod for people with one arm. And you can buy a skyscraper as well. Would you like a skyscraper? You get it free with the camera. Over here, we've got uh, the guarantee, the European guarantee. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can find... Yeah, here we go. For further information, please contact Sony Customer Information Center at the following address or telephone number. And there's a bunch of telephone numbers there, which... You know what? You can ring these if you want. Uh, I wouldn't know. I don't know how many are in service. And if you do ring them, don't be assholes to the staff because they're doing a very important job. And we don't like it when people are assholes to people doing their work. There's a guarantee that's not important. That is not the tripod because I am a professional. And here we've got um, damage verifiably caused to your unit by the use of non-infolithium. Infolithium batteries will not be covered by the limited warranty. So basically, don't use the wrong battery. Oh. Uh, wait, is that the original battery? No, it's not. Do I, I don't even know where the original battery is. <laughs> Uh, no, we're not going to look at the camera. Let's uh, pull the accessories out of the bags. Still all in bags. So you've got your standard power cable and you've got the uh, power supply adapter. That's the original battery. As you can see, they are basically um, the same as they should be. Apparently, these uh, replacement Chinese ones are actually quite difficult to get working in the camera. But mine works straight away, so that's great. You've got your AV cable for playing off the TV, and as a power thing, plus four floppy disks, which um, I haven't actually checked to see if there's anything on them in the uh, disk driver, but they're all still sealed in their whatnots. They are MDF 2 HD floppy disk double-sided. Mm. Maybe I should plug these in to see if there's anything on them. I'm going to do that now. The answer was no. They were all... Um, uh, unrecognisable format and needed formatting, uh, but could not be formatted. That was it, my computer's still freaking out because of it, but no. So there's nothing on there, but they're the free discs they give you, and on one of these discs, or at least on one of these discs, you can get four whole photographs. Mm. Four. Well, the photographs are about 333 kilobytes each, which is really small for a digital format, and these main discs are about 1.4 megabytes, so um, yeah. That's what's there, but I think we've had enough blabbling. Let's actually look at the unit itself. He lied. I lied. Here's some memory sticks. I brought the wrong one off eBay. I had that one hanging around, which I found after I'd brought this one on eBay. They were incorrect. They are not the right models. But enough fabbling around. Here is the camera itself. The FD Mavia. Advertising that it's Stanima and it's got a dual media. What does it mean by dual media? We already know. Let's uh, just get the battery in straight away. So we put the new replacement battery in. It goes in uh, like that. You just have to kind of squeeze up to one side. Click. And it's in. So the battery now has, the camera now has a battery. Lens cap off. We can have a look at the lens. It looks like a piece of glass, which is, I guess, what you want from a lens. I don't know. I'm not a photography person. Let's just uh, quickly... Put that back on because it's annoying. DC in is obviously your power supply. It has that funny Sony adapter that everybody loves. I think they use these on their camcorders as well. Really annoying, but I've got a couple of spare. Video out. In fact, I think one of my camcorders uses it and it's busted. So that's good. Video out, which will be for that um, three and a half millimeter jack to AV cable. Basically, this thing I'm sure probably plugs in there. Yeah, there you go. It plugs in there and then the video plays out on that. So that's one way to get your video. 
And on the back, we've got the guts of the machine, so we'll go to the side. This is where the floppy disks go in. Mmm, that's important. Back to the back of the machine. So, we're going to turn it on straight away. Ding. It's telling me to insert, uh, put a time and date in because I've taken the battery out and so it doesn't remember. I'm not going to bother doing that. It's 2002. Um, yeah. So, uh, I've already used this camera quite extensively, as you see, on the memory stick, we've got 74 mm, photographs and videos, which is interesting, we'll look at that in a minute. Here you've got your LCD backlight, so you can just decide whether the LCD is backlit, this does make a difference, because obviously you can't bloody see it, and now you can. Drains battery, but let's be fair, we have 300 minutes of battery power, 299 minutes of battery power. The battery is unreal, it had 360 when I started, and I, I was using it for about an hour as I was walking. Uh, here is our option for doing what we're doing, so we've got our play menu, which will show you as we're running on the disc we can have a look through the photos that I've taken. And yes, I'll be putting these on screen so you can see, oh, that's a video. What does this video do? Because these videos do not play on my PC properly. Here is one of the videos. It's 15 seconds as I crossed a road made in this area for the local quarry. Mm. We were up around the Barden Hill area again. Yes. What else do we have? It's a cow. Moo. And yes, I, I will show you these photos as well, I'm sure. But yes, more video. So you can sort of see how that works. It's fine. Still is pretty self-explanatory. You can take a photograph of something. So we're going to actually zoom in. And when we push the button, we get the little green light that indicates it's focusing. Pidgey! Snap. And there is a photograph. It's recording, so it's saving it. And it's saved. You can see the number's gone up. And it's blacked out a little bit more. Um, we won't be putting that photo on because I've got to wipe this the stick so you can see I can do it from the options. And movie is the same. You can just set a movie going. Um, if I actually... Hang on a second. Go through the settings. We're going to change that to just five seconds so we don't have to sit here for 15 seconds. You just play it. And as you can see, the red dots disappear for the five seconds. Hello, Pidgey. You're a bird. Chirp. And the jobs are good in. And that's pretty much how the camera itself technically functions. Uh, you've got your flash. Yeah, you can just turn it on or you can turn it off by pushing the button. So it's off now. And now it's on. Focus will just uh, is the kind of focus you've got. So, you know, you can pick your distances. Unlimited. You can just have it off. But macro, five, half a meter, one meter, three meters, seven meters, unlimited, and just whatever the hell. Program in nighttime, night plus landscape, portrait, things, I don't know. And the display is just what's on the screen because we like to be able to see, you know, do you want to see how many photos you got left? No, no, you don't. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we've got the terrible D-pad here. If you push the center, it brings into the menu. It's gone into review for some reason, which is not what I wanted. But hey, uh, is it up? No, it's up for the menu. Push it. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. So here we've got, uh, we can select a timer by pressing the enter. It's got a timer now. The effects. Now, I uh, didn't actually look at the effects that are included in this, but there's, you know, your standard solarized black and white sepia, negative art, and none. Date and time we've already explored at, although it can tell you the date and time in the photograph bottom left-hand corner. I didn't use that when I was testing. File is, as you'd expect, file number. You can series them on normal. Clip motion. Yes, mobile or normal. Got 80 by 72. How's about? No, 160 by 120. I mean, they're both bloody awful. What are you going to do? Image size. Yeah, we ran on 1600 fine for all these photos. Record mode is a TIFF, a text, an email or normal. I don't even know what a TIFF is. and Nobody cares. And format is mem formatting the memory stick, which... um. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I think we just lost all the photos. Nope, it didn't do it. So that, okay, and okay. Now it's formatting. There we go. Formatting. It's deleting everything. Deleting the wedding photos. Deleting your mother's funeral. Deleting everything. This is taking a long time, but it's deleting it all. Delete all your memories. Delete all your memories. Why is this taking so long? Deleting Pidge and that box over there. Deleting your YouTube channel, 
Yes, it's deleting your YouTube channel. There we go. It took long enough. Camera, as we said, these are, the, you know, the digital zoom and sharpness, ISO, you know, all, all the camera stuff that people who know how to use cameras do. And setup is, yes, we like the beep. The clock is the time. Language is in English. Video out is PAL. And the LCD is bright. So that's basically all the setting. Also, you've got this slip here for memory stick or floppy disk. As you can see, it says no disk. And that's where the joy of this camera comes in. Now, all these discs are used. You slip it in, and then you realise you put it in the wrong way, and you actually slip it in that way. And the disc protector is on that one, apparently, even though if we look, you can see the disc protector is not on. This is actually an issue I had with, God, I think it was this one floppy disc. A couple of floppy discs have this error. It's a problem. Disc is full. Great. Well, in that case, then, we're going to go to File disk tool and we're going to format the disk i said we're going to format the disk we're going to format the disk formatting the disk great now you can see we've got zero photos and the disk shows fully open so we're just going to take a photo click one you can see it spinning there god i miss that noise and you can now see a quarter of the disk is taken because one photo is a quarter of one of these discs Listen to that noise. Oh, sends shivers down my spine. Or is that just the fact that I'm cold? But that's kind of about it, really. I mean, uh, we're just going to quickly turn the camera off. Uh, we've got the USB out here, which is the standard large USB. USB-A, I think that's called. And memory stick, which is a clicky out. And yes, it's one of these big chonky boys. 64 premium megabits. These memory cards are actually quite expensive these days. 64 premium megabits of photographic memory. Oh, I'm so glad that we don't use these memory sticks anymore. And it's got your lock button on it. But that just slips in there as of such. And that is genuinely... Oh, yes, and the disc eject, you just kind of pull it and... Boop. Da -da -da -da. You corrupt the discs if you uh, eject them whilst it's writing. So don't do that. But yeah, uh, I knew we'd find a use for these floppy disks that I found in that charity shop that appeared on that one YouTube video I did. And I have. I'm really pleased about that. But yeah, that is uh, a quick look at the Sony FD Marcia 200. A very interesting digital camera from a time past when you could still use floppy disks for things. But the only question is now, what do the actual photographs you take with this thing look like? Well, I'm going to tell you to like, comment and subscribe and tell me if you have used one of these cameras because apparently they were really common. And I'm going to show you some of the photographs I took on the walk. And no, none of them are interesting, but one of them is a cow. Bye.